Hi guys, Shelly here from Bailey's Barn and in this video today we are going to show you how we built this jungle gym playground for our goats for less than $300. For anybody that doesn't already know, we have a just about one and a half acre property here which we are turning into a hobby farm. But because our property is so small, our backyard is literally their pasture. So this is our house. And then this is their pasture. So stay tuned and we're gonna show you how we did it so nicely, so affordably. For this project, we bought call lumber, which means the lumber is either warped or cracked and it sold at a huge discount. Our total cost for all of this lumber was $101.40. And we have enough to do many more projects. So for this project, we're going to be using about half of what we bought. First things first, we have to clean up the area. We have to get rid of all the old bricks that we have from an old fire pit. And, but luckily our goats are willing to help if we want to call it that. This is also a good opportunity to get in your daily workout. All cleaned up and ready to start building. We also bought eight four by four by eights for our posts because we wanted to make sure that they were nice and straight. So our total spent on posts was $99.04. After we get the post in, then we have to put braces across in order for the deck boards to screw into. This was a little challenging because our boards were warped, so we have to compensate for that. It's not easy being cheap, but it is definitely doable. Next step is to attach our deck boards. Now we had to buy screws. We bought two different sizes of screws. So we bought three inch screws that were 2848 and we bought one and five eighths screws that were 2528 with a total of $53.76. Platform A is complete. And now we move on to platform B. I will say that we buried the post down about three feet in the ground, but we did not use concrete. Our property is all sand, so the holes were pretty easy to dig, easy and quick. And because when we mix the sand with water, it gets pretty hard and it should be stable enough without the concrete. Plus the goats don't weigh very much. So makes it a little cheaper there as well. Next enters our quality control crew, making sure that everything is nice and stable and secure. Carrie, aka Heyman, is putting screws in the corners and basically doing everything with platform B as he did with platform A. So he's screwing down the corners and then we're going to add the braces in the middle and then more deck boards on top. And our ground is slightly uneven here, but both platforms are sitting at the same height, even though it doesn't look like that. Platform B is not going to get a roof, so we're cutting off the extra posts. And of course, Quincy is always there to lend a hand. Our cutie patootie grandson Hunter arrives just in time to help Papa finish up Platform B. The best part of these projects is that we do them as a family and our kids and our grandkids are always around and I just love it. Um, Papa's taking this opportunity to show Hunter how to use the drill and start screwing stuff in and Hunter just loves watching him. 
he is just turned 18 months and he is so much fun. Structure B is done and everybody is checking it for stability. Next, we're going to start building the bridge to connect the two platforms. We did have to purchase here some cable and some leg bolts. The total cost for those was $48.72. And Hunter is back to help. Oh my god, is he not just the cutest? Look at press the button. Watch. Now we're adding the wood to the bridge. Now for this, what we did was we used fence staples that Carrie is measuring to make sure that everyone is in the same location. We used fence staples that he nailed into the board and then we ran the cable through the fence staples. Now these fence staples, we already had in the garage. They were left over from when we built our farm fence. So they didn't cost us anything at this point in time. So I'm counting that as a zero expense since it's something we already had on hand. And then we just string the cable through the staples one at a time. <laughs> Some of the staples went in a little too far, so we have to pull them back out. Of course, Hunter's there to help and supervise. Over on the spectator swing, we have Lindsay and our other grandson, Hudson, a.k.a. Mr. Jinx. Are you stuck? Sit on your bum. And our bridge is complete. Next step is the roof for platform A. Um, we used our cowl lumber and Kerry made his own A-frames. And now he's using some of the deck boards also from the cowl lumber. And he's putting a top on the roof. Next, we are using 2 by 12 by 12s for a ramp that we're attaching to platform A. Uh, the, these boards were one of our biggest scores that we got in the whole load of call lumber. They are 2 by 12 by 12 feet and they normally retail for about $45 each and we got four of them. So we used one of them that we cut in half and we're just attaching brackets that are attached on one side to the boards and on the other side we're attaching to platform A. These brackets we already had in the garage so they were of no expense to us right now. One of the perks to having a handy husband is we usually have some sort of stock on hand. And of course Quincy is there as his assistant as he is bolting it on the underside to platform A. Next Carrie is just adding some little strips of wood that he cut about probably one inch by one inch or one inch by two inches that he's just adding periodically going up the ramp to give the goats some grips plus it also um, connects the two boards together to keep them secure so that they don't separate and get a hoof stuck in them.
Next step was to get somebody to try it out. Luckily, Quincy was on hand and willing to do it. Next, bring in the tires. These tires cost us nothing. We actually got them from our local transfer station. Um, we go there quite frequently to dump garbage and we just asked them one time when we were there and we seen the tires if we could take some and to use for our goats and they said no problem and let us help ourselves so again no cost on the tires actually with this first tire after we buried it in the ground we stepped back and looked and I thought they should have been going in the other direction so Carrie was so kind as to dig it out and start over. With the tires, it's honestly just manual labor. Um, we buried them in about a third of the way down and then filled them back in with sand. That way they're nice and secure. So far, none of our goats have decided to jump on the tires, but they do like to lay in them. So hopefully in the future, they will even start jumping on them and jumping from tire to tire. So our total expense out of pocket was $252.22, 9904 on 4x4s. I counted $50.70 for the lumber, which is half of what we spent, $53.76 on screws, and $48.72 on cable and eye bolts. Carrie still wants to buy a couple of leg bolts for the corners to secure it a little better. Um, but even with those added on, we are still going to be well under our $300.